Hello, it's Saturday, June 29th, and the Book Junkie Trials officially started yesterday for the Mages, which is the team that I'm on, except I haven't finished the book that I'm currently reading, and I'm not going to not finish it because I'm loving it, and that book is Kingsbane, which is the book number two in the Imperium trilogy by Claire Legrand. I'm loving it so much, but it's taking me a little bit of time to get through because I was on vacation, so I didn't get to read as much as I wanted. And I'm on page 399 and it's about 600 pages. So I have 200 pages and I think that I can get through it today. So that's the plan. And I also want to maybe go out and about and explore. We'll see. So yeah, in the meantime, after that, I'm going to start the Merciful Crow, which I'm so excited about because Maddie has been talking nonstop about how it's her new favorite book. So like, I feel like we have the same reading taste. So she loves it. I'm probably going to love it. And I'm excited that I have an arc of it and I really want to make sure that I get out a good review before it is released since I feel cool like having an arc of a book. And I got it at BookCon so it's not like I'm, you know, was given it for a review purpose. It was more of like a promotional material at the convention but still I want to read it. And I'm just excited. I'm at my parents' house for the week and I'm excited to chillax and have plenty of time to read. I feel like I get so much reading done here because it's I just have all my little reading spots and I don't have to like go to work all day, <laughs> which is probably why I get a lot of reading done. So yeah, I'm just gonna buckle down and read. I'm excited. <laughs> late it's like 12 30 i'm in bed reading kingsbane and i just like love being in bed and reading and staying up late to read i feel like i get really productive reading done once i go to bed but oh my god the plot twist that just occurred literally changes everything and i don't know how to go on and like i literally feel like i I, like, I don't want it to end. Like, I don't know, I feel like I put it down for so long because I just, like, love it so much and I don't want it to end and, like, have to wait another year for the next book. But also, like, are you kidding me? I need to know what happens. Like, she, she did that. And, like, it's just a thing that I wouldn't think would normally be pulled off well in fantasy. But, like, oh, it's working. And, like, this book... It does not suffer from middle book syndrome at all and is blowing my expectations completely out of the water like i i'm freaking loving it like it's so good it's not dragging like it, it's just upping the ante even more and like oh my god i literally like i love this series so much oh my god uh, okay okay i need to keep reading like i'm on page four 
78 and there are 587 or so pages in here so that's about 100 pages so I can definitely get that done in time for bed but like oh my god well maybe I won't be able to get it done I don't know we'll see I'll get close and I'll definitely be finishing this by tomorrow morning but like oh my god I'm shook to the core shook so it's the next morning, it's Sunday. I finished this book and I don't think I'll ever be okay again. Things happened, I'm sad and angry and I cannot believe that, like what, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted, I'm shocked. It shook me in the best way possible. Like so many stars for the series, I love it so much, but like what the heck happened? Like I was so shocked. <laughs> I started crying because I was like, oh my god, that really happened. And I never get that emotional with books, but I did. Like, what the heck? Oh my goodness. Anyways, so now that that's over, I'm going to go for a run. And then I'm going to come back and read The Merciful Crow by the pool so that I can finally start my TBR for the Book Junkie Trials. Even though I got a three-day head start, it's turning only into a one-day head start for me because... I needed to finish King's Bane, but I mean, totally worth it because this book is fan freaking tastic, even though the ending. I didn't think it would be possible to be this angry with a book, but like, well, not with the book, but like with the characters. Like, what the heck? What the heck? Like, I need the next book now. The second that they say that they're like releasing arcs and whatnot, I'm going to be on that because, like, I need to know what happens. Shook. Hello, hello. It is Monday, July 1st, and we are at the official, official start of the book, Junkie Trials, and I have been reading The Merciful Crow. I'm already immersed in it, and I'm on page 61 so far, and this is the first book that I need to complete, so I'm hoping to get a big chunk of this done, and it is an arc, so I want to have a review out soon, but I'm about to film my mid-year book freakout tag, which is one of my favorite tags to do, so I'm very excited for it, and then probably run some errands. It's like too hot and wants to sit out by the pool which is what i've been doing these past few days but i kind of like need a break because it's just like deadly hot out so i'm gonna run errands with my mom and do booktube stuff and hopefully focus on reading this beauty because i'm so into it so far i love it also i just like love the feel of this book um this is an arc and it just somewhat feels different than like our regular paperback i don't know how to describe it but like I don't know. I like the way that it feels and I already know I'm going to love this book. I'll probably pre-order it because there are going to be pre-order incentives, which also I need to check J. Kristoff's Twitter because the Dark Dawn pre-order incentive is supposed to be announced today. Also, I think the pre-order incentive for this book is supposed to be announced today, so let's, let's check Twitter. <laughs> Hello, it's, what day is it? Tuesday, July 2nd, and I'm just hanging out by the pool to read my book, The Merciful Pro. I'm on page 184. Maddie says that chapter 15 is when stuff really goes down and I wanna know what that stuff is. So I'm gonna probably kayak around the lake for a little bit and then sit by the pool and read in the sun and hopefully get to chapter 15 and then we're going to the beach tonight. So I think it's a good plan. I'm really loving this book so far though. Like the whole world and the concept is just so well done and the magic system is really unique and it is a really good commentary on classism so I enjoy that aspect a lot and I'm just loving my time reading this so far and I'm really psyched that I have an arc and there's an awesome awesome pre-order incentive so I'm totally going to be ordering my copy. So I've been outside reading and I finally got to chapter 15 that Maddie was talking about and I loved it. So cute. And now I'm going to go inside because it's about to thunder and continue reading and doing bookish activities because that's what I like to do when I'm on vacation. <laughs> Hello, hello. It is Wednesday, July 3rd, and it's morning, and we are about to drive down to my grandma's, and I am on page 285 in The Merciful Crow. I love this book so much. I thought I was going to finish it last night, but I fell asleep before I finished this, so hopefully I will finish this later on the beach at my grandma's house and be done with my first book of the book Junkie Trials. And then, I think in the car today, because I don't really know if I can read like a physical book that well, but I'm going to try reading The Girl the Sea Gave Back on my Kindle. I think it'll be good. And then I 
again hopefully read more of that on the beach but it's like a two and a half hour car ride so if i can just like read the whole way like i will make solid progress on the girl the sea gave back besides that just get ready for some beach footage <laughs> i'm at my grandma's now for the fourth of july and today i finished the merciful crow I love this book. I loved it so much. Five stars. I really need to write a Goodreads review. I feel so bad because the author, Margaret Owen, was posting and saying that these bots on Goodreads, someone bought bots to generate negative reviews for the book and lower its rating on Goodreads. And that makes me really sad because it's a very, very good book that deserves all the hype it's been getting. And I mean, I just like love it so much and please please pre-order if you can because the pre-order incentive is awesome and like uh, I don't know I just I loved it and I'm so happy I got this little arc so that I can review it and I do need to work on writing my review for both Kingsbane and The Merciful Crow tonight but I've been putting it off because I have so many feelings about both of these books how do I how do I put them into work I don't know. So that's my first book for the book Junkie Trials. So I have passed the Orc Grove and I'm on to the Old Pirate Cove, which means that I get to start my E arc of The Girl the Seat Gave Back, which was a wish granted. Super cool because I definitely don't have the reviewing power to get those kind of high commodity titles yet. But yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. So yeah, tonight it's just going to be like gushing about the merciful crow and kingsbane and starting the girl the sea gave back and tomorrow's fourth of july and we're just hanging out by the pool and doing fun beach stuff for the fourth and i'm gonna read my book and get ahead of the book junkie trials and what i wanted to accomplish this week ambitiously i would have gotten all five of my or four of the five books for the my team done so i wanted to do merciful crow girl the sea gave back sorcery of thorns tea dragon uh, society yeah just those four and then start the stardust audiobook when i go back to work but i think considering it's wednesday i'll probably at least start sorcery of thorns before i go back home i'm good with that because then i just want to have all of my like team books out of the way before the reading rush starts at the end of July. So I think I'm pretty much on track to do that, so I'm excited. Hello and good morning. It's July 4th and I'm reporting from the beach and we are just about to go down to the pool. We can't really go to the ocean because there's like clumps of seaweed that are disgusting down there. But I'm excited because I'm starting to read The Girl the Sea Gave Back on my Kindle and I'm excited to like utilize my Kindle at the pool more just because I don't want to ruin physical books. Not that they necessarily get ruined just from being at the pool area, but I feel like when they're outside in the moisture, sometimes the pages curl up. So this is going to be my second book for the book Junkie Trials, and then I'm going to start Sorcerer of Thorns hopefully soon. So Girls of Sea Gave Back is 336 pages, so if I'm just like dedicated in reading the whole time I'm down there, I can finish it in like a day or two I think. and. We have a two hour car ride tomorrow and I might read in the car as well. I was gonna read in the car on the way here but I literally fell asleep the second we pulled out of the driveway and woke up the second we pulled into my grandma's driveway. So that worked out pretty well for me because long car rides are annoying. So yeah, we're just enjoying our day at the beach and the 4th of July and I get to utilize my Kindle and have fun with that and I think sometimes I read faster on the Kindle or it just seems faster because the pages are smaller or whatever so I don't know I think it'll be a fun way to read an arc and I just posted my reviews for Kingsbane and Merciful Crow which are two books that were both five stars that I absolutely adored and I feel like I'm getting better at being able to express my feelings when I really like a book and writing a good review I find that I feel like usually I'm better able to express my feelings during a wrap-up or a vlog and that writing the review sometimes is hard for me just because I have so many things I want to say and I just hope that I say them okay and sometimes it's easier in like a stream of consciousness like on camera being able to say what I liked about it rather than writing it all down because I have to sit there and think about it but I think that they came out pretty good and I'm excited to like get better at reviewing books just because I think that it's part of the whole thing that I'm doing here on booktube so want to make sure that I do it justice you know but yeah I'm excited to have a beautiful day and read on my Kindle
it's now Friday, July 5th. I had a very nice July 4th at my grandma's and now I'm home and we just drove back and I'm honestly not feeling that great. I think sometimes when I sit in the backseat of the car, I get kind of car sick and I think I'm also dehydrated. So I've just been relaxing in bed, honestly, like with this huge headache, I gotta take some Advil and then I feel better. And in the meantime, I have been reading The Girl the Sea Gave Back. I really want to finish this tonight so that I can start Sorcery of Thorns, which is going to be a buddy read with Trey. And we read Enchantment of Ravens together, so it's perfect. Right now, I'm 54% of the way through The Girl the Sea Gave Back, and I read 50% of it yesterday, so I think I can get through it pretty quickly today. Also, I just took a shower and my hair dried so nicely. This is what we call a good hair day. I'm really enjoying this book so far. If you liked Sky in the Deep, you would probably really like this. It's the same writing style and takes place in the same world, just following different characters 10 years in the future, but you do get cameos from those other characters, so it's pretty nice. I'm enjoying my time with the story so far, and I am really intrigued by the main storyline that's going on. I wouldn't say it's very heavy on the action, like you think Vikings, it's going to be like all battles and stuff, but it really is more of an emotional story arc in the Viking setting and there is battles and stuff but it's not like super action packed but I'm enjoying it and I just like love reading on my Kindle because I can literally lay all the way down be lazy and read my book well obviously not like this but you know you know what I mean so yeah that's it for this clip working on my bullet journal and I'm having a lot of fun and I just watched a bunch of bullet journal videos this morning so well afternoon because I didn't get out of bed until one but anyways I am inspired to go buy some more supplies for my bullet journal and I like to just drive around so I'm gonna go drive to Michael's and try to get some washi tape see what they have there and in the meantime then I'm gonna come home start Stranger Things 3 and start Sorcery of Thorns which is my Book for Glimmer, the third book in the trials. I'm excited for that one. It's one of my most anticipated releases of the year. Freaking love and chime in of Ravens, and I just know it's gonna be everything that I want it to be, so I can't wait. Hi. 
Okay, so what you just saw is part of my spread for the Book Junkie Trials. I've been working on doing bullet journaling stuff like the whole time I've been here and it's just so relaxing and a really fun hobby and I love the way my journal is coming out and I like am someone that doesn't have any artistic skill whatsoever so the fact that I can actually like follow along and make things come out like I love the way that this page came out and this is just literally looking at things on Pinterest and following what other people have done. Um, and I did get inspiration from the spread from someone on Twitter, so I will link their tweet with their spread, and that's basically where I took inspiration from. So obviously I will make sure to credit that person because they were the ones that actually came up with it. I just copied them. So then what I want to do is I'm going to put the quests for everything here. I don't know how exactly I'm going to do that, but I've been looking on the Book Junkie Trials Twitter to get ideas. Then I'm going to do a page tracker and then some sort of statistics page at the end of the month. Um, then I'm going to do my Reading Rush TBR and my Reading Rush Tracker. And I am going to do something similar to what Books with Chloe did and hers. And I don't know, I'm just having a lot of fun coming up with different spreads and different ideas. And I've already filled out so much of this journal. Like, I'm on page 56 right now. And the fact that I journaled for 56 pages is incredible to me. It's just, like, a really fun thing to do. So now that I am getting deeper into bullet journaling, I got this pencil case for 99 cents at Michael's because um, I'm a mess and I need something to organize my things and my annotation pencil case was getting taken over by all of my non-annotation bullet journal supplies. So this is where most of my stuff is going to go, like all my pens and stuff. I use these Paper Mate Ink Joy pens for the most part. Um, then I also got this sparkly washi tape because... I know that's like a thing that people use in bullet journaling and it's sparkly so that's all you really need to take to sell me okay so yeah that's about it and, oh i started sorcery thorns and i'm gonna go read more now and like i just want to spend this is my last night here i just want to spend it reading staying up late reading because that's what i have to do and in the morning when i wake up before i have to leave i'm gonna read or i'll probably bullet journal in the morning my flight's at like four and then I will probably bullet journal in the morning pack. It's super sad. So I don't know the next time I'm coming back. Go back to real life now. I just love my bullet journal. And then I think on the plane, I probably won't read sorcery just because I really want to be able to immerse myself and annotate it. But I will read probably the chase on my kindle because kindles are great for flying and when you want to read something just really quick on the plane i love my kindle for that i'm gonna do one fly lately so it's been i'm getting my money's worth out of it all right that's it for now it's monday july 8th and this is going to be me closing out the reading vlog i had a great time at my parents in florida and now it's back to reality but i feel like i've had a really solid first week of the book junkie trial so let me go over what i read but first let me haul some things that i got so the first thing i'm going to haul is the percy jackson and the olympian series i got this mailed to my house like a while ago but i got it mailed to my florida house so i had to take it home with me and i got this basically because all of my friends were yelling at me to read percy jackson so this is for you guys i'm gonna read it and i did read percy jackson when i was a kid and i'd like to re-experience it and the box that was actually a pretty good price so can't turn that up i transported my books in these fairy loot pouches they're actually really convenient for transporting novels so i finished king's bane which was a five out of five star read for me and one of my favorite books like i literally feel like i'm reading all these books that could be my favorite books of the year within a week it's crazy but King's Bane, 5 out of 5 stars. I mean, it was just everything that I wanted in a sequel, and it was even more impactful than the first book. Like, it just heightened my love of the series to new levels, which if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Fury Born, so um, that's saying something. I truly, truly cannot say enough things about it. I'm sure I've already gushed enough to read Fury Born. If you are at all have an iota of interest, give it a shot. It's so good. And it only gets better. Then... I picked up The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen, which is another favorite of mine. Like, I am blown away by how much I love this book. I wasn't expecting to love it. I wasn't even expecting to get this arc at BookCon. Haven't heard of it before BookCon. And now that I've read it, I'm like, 
how did you not know about this? It's so cool. It's like about this caste system. And if you're a crow, you're at the bottom of the castes and you have no magic inherent to like your caste or like your birthright. So they're basically, they have to go around collecting plague victims. So we have some magical diseases and a caste class system. And then basically like the prince and his body double are running away from the evil queen and it just has such a good commentary and really really amazing characters and like oh i just love it so i'm really happy i read that then i read the girl the sea gave back on my kindle and i ended up giving that one like three three and a half stars if you like sky in the deep you'll like it and i like sky in the deep too but my problem is i just felt like there could be a little bit more to the story there's there's no romance in it like there's like the barest hint of romance which is fine because not every book has to be a romance or have romantic elements I just felt like the story could have been more like i thought it was good for what it was but i just felt like the relationships between the characters felt a little flat and i think i would have liked more time for it to develop and i felt like i was not satisfied with the ending at all like there was just so much more that could have been done and i felt like there was some lost potential there but what was there was good so make of that what you will but if you enjoy sky in the deep you'll probably enjoy the girl the sea gave back i started sorcery of thorns but i didn't get any chance to read this yesterday because i traveled for 10 hours it took me a very long time to get from florida to boston but on the plane i was very productive i edited two videos and i read the entirety of the chase by l kennedy and if you know me you know i've been obsessed with l kennedy lately and the chase was really really good you know i'm excited for that after the goal felt so flat for me that was the fourth book in her off-campus series i'm really excited for this new series that follows like this group of girls and yeah, it was just, it was just some quality smut. Oh, you may also notice I have a new friend. His name is Bulbasaur. It was so funny. I was at Barnes and Noble where they were selling this and I opened Pokemon Go and there was like three Bulbasaurs around me, which never happened. So I feel, I like have a theory that it's a marketing scheme that they're planting the Pokemon that they're selling the Funko Pops for at the locations. <coughs> And so people will open the app and be like, there's so many Bulbasaur's here, it's fate, I must buy this Bulbasaur Funko Pop, which may or may not have been what I did, but regardless. He's so cute. I have his little friend Charmander, and I like collecting like animal Funko Pops more than like people Funko Pops, so I'm excited to have these guys on my shelves because they're perfect in here. And they kind of match both Illuminae and Gemnas. And I've been reading Sorcery of Thorns and just like, this could very well be my new favorite book, which is saying a lot because I just said that these two other books I read are my new favorite book. And I've had so many books this year that I think are my new favorite book, but I don't know, this one could take the cake. I'm on page 146 and I'm obsessed with it and all I wanna do tonight is read it. I just love it. And I wanna go now and buy like all the other editions of it that came out, like the Alcrate and the Fairy Loot, but that's a lot of money on eBay. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna restrain myself, but in my, in my heart, I want to do that but i think that's pretty much it for this reading vlog i am hoping to do consistent reading vlogs for the month of july since we have the book junkie trials and the reading rush going on and i think that i'm on track to do all that and i've just been really satisfied with my reading and i just think things are going well and i'm like ready to conquer the month and conquer my tbr which is saying something because i read zero percent of my june tbr in june so <laughs> Okay, so let me know down below if you've read any of these books I have claimed as my new favorite books and what you thought. And in the meantime, have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.